I'm Staff Sergeant B from iGuardCalifornia.com. I'm a recruiter with the California Army National Guard. I've compiled a list of the top 10 most important things you should know before, during, and after your meeting with a military recruiter. If you plan on joining any branch of the military, you need to watch my series. I've covered tips 10 through 8 in a previous video, so let's get back into the list. Coming in next is tip number 7. Take the East. The EAST, or Enlisted Screening Test, is sometimes referred to as the Practice ASVAB Test. Different branches may call it by different names, but it's basically designed to do one thing. Give the recruiter an accurate prediction of how the applicant will perform on the ASVAB test. The EAST is administered by the recruiter in his office and can usually be completed in less than 45 minutes. Generally, your results on the EAST will be within 8 to 10 points of your score on the actual ASVAB. Your score on the East doesn't count against you and is not recorded anywhere, so don't feel pressured when taking the East. It's simply a tool the recruiter has to help you decide if you're ready to take the ASVAB. Tip number six, be honest. Being honest in the way you answer your recruiter's questions will go a long way in streamlining the enlistment process. Enlisting in any branch of service requires a thorough background screening. During the enlistment process, the recruiter will ask several questions about education, previous residences, employment history, personal references, law violations, and medical history. The most important of these questions will deal with law violations and medical history. Many applicants are denied enlistment or are temporarily disqualified due to failing to disclose certain items in these two key areas. By doing your part, you'll ensure the enlistment process goes off without a hitch, allowing you more time to concentrate on things like career choices and duty stations. Tip number five, ask about pre-basic training. Anything you can do now to prepare yourself for basic training will be to your benefit. Trust me on this one. The National Guard calls their program RSP or Recruit Sustainment Program. Prior to shipping the basic training, each new recruit reports once a month to a base or armory and is trained on the basics of soldiering. During these training weekends, the recruits cover subjects like marching and drill and ceremony, identifying rank, military courtesy, physical training, and military history, as well as other classes to prepare the new recruit for success at basic training. Ask your recruiter if your branch of choice offers a similar program. Although not necessary for success at basic training, programs like this will make the difference between being an above average recruit and one who's just getting by. Your recruiter is a professional and expert in all matters military. By being proactive in the enlistment process, you'll demonstrate the caliber of soldier you plan to be. I have put this list together to help you succeed. Follow it and you will. I'm Staff Sergeant B from iGuardCalifornia.com, and I'll see you at the recruiter's office.